Okay, so typically, um, I really started getting into this at Leviathan Studio because it was such a beautiful place to practice. And there, I'd get up every morning, I'd have just a little tiny snack, and then I'd put some music on and start uh, working out. <coughs> First off, I'd just start doing, um, yeah, just some squats and playing with balance. Like every time I come up, I'm either coming up onto my heels or onto my toes, onto my heels, onto my toes, keeping my core really engaged. And uh, just finding a little bit of balance. Squat, toes, heels, toes, heels, and just getting everything swinging and moving until I start to feel a little bit warmed up. Boom. And I let the music, um, you know, kind of inform how I'm moving. Um, so I kind of do some stuff to warm up that way. Then I come to my yoga mat. I uh, just do this for a little bit, start building a little bit of core strength. And it's all about tucking the tailbone just a little bit, or more really engaging the abs to sort of let the body strengthen out. Pushing through the heels, rolling my shoulder blades down my back just a little bit, so I really feel strong through the center. And pretty quickly you start feeling warmer. And then I'd start doing a little bit of this. Using the core to kind of lift the butt in the air. And then, boy, you start getting warm pretty quick. And then I start drawing some circles with my feet. And already, ah, boy, do I feel that I'm warming up. So do that till I'm tired. And usually for a little while, I'm kind of jumping back on my feet. And I start playing a little bit of pirouettes. Pirouettes, just kind of getting some moving around, pirouette on my. We'll talk a lot more about pirouettes in the, in the, the courses. Um, I do that a couple times. And then I start playing with poilades. Um, poilades, I take my poi, and I come onto my butt. And right away what you want to do, it's all about you're trying to push the small of your back into the ground a little bit. Right? Instead of doing this, you're pushing everything down. And that's really going to engage all of this and all the right muscles that protect and strengthen your, your core. So it toes a little off the ground, engage pushing the smaller back down, and I start doing stuff like this. And uh, very quickly you're going to feel it. But what I'm doing is I'm stalling the poi in towards me, then behind me, in towards me, behind me, towards me, towards me, behind me, towards me, behind me. I'm trying to do really nice horizontal stalls along the ground, which uh, is an interesting thing to try to do, and it kind of gets your mind off of your you know, what you're doing a little bit. So. It's awesome. Once I'm tired of that, I flip over. I do the same thing, raising the toes and pushing them to the wall behind me. So I'm kind of ex extending my feet that way. The knees and feet are off the ground. You don't want to lift them way up like that. Just often extended. I lift my heart. Same thing. Stall in towards me, behind. In towards me, behind. And this is strengthening my shoulder and back muscles. Yep. And again, I do this till uh, I'm trying I can switch to the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, and in, out, and in, out, and in. Although, don't do this with your head. You want, this, you want your, tip, your chin neutral. That's better. So then, I just get really playful with all of this. Um, I do things. Say so when I'm on this one, I can also go to the right, left, right, 
left, right, left, right, left. Or I'll come with my back and I'll start doing stop, boom, boom, stop, boom, 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 stop, boom, 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 stop, boom, boom, stop, boom, boom, stop, boom, boom, stop, boom, 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 stop, boom, 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 stop, boom, 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 stop, stuff like that. Um, and things like simply doing a weave, you'll feel that pretty quick. And again, remember, you're uh, constantly trying to lengthen your core and keep the small of your back pushed down a little bit. That engages all the muscles. The other stuff I do along with all of that is I just do good old push-ups. And again, it all comes down to engaging your whole body. So, if you're in a basic push-up position, you want to really be in a plank. Right, so not like this, not like this. I'm in a plank and I really engage the legs, engage all of this to sort of, you know, lace up my spine a little bit. And you want to keep that. I'm pushing out through my heels a little bit. There's a few positions you can use with your arms and they engage different muscles, but I kind of go kind of more or less off to the sides. Elbows are going back. I'm keeping my shoulders away from my ears. I'm trying to feel it through my whole body. And I started in May. And in May, I could do first set of 20, second set of 18, third set would be 16. And I just kept working on it. And pretty soon I could do 25, 22, 20. And then once I could do 30 push-ups, I started adding weight. So I've got a contoured kettlebell that I put on, uh, you know, over my shoulder blades. Or I get the, somebody's child to sit on my back. Or I get somebody to do plank on my shoulders. So once you get up, you know, then you get it back down to, you know, 15 to 20 reps is a good, uh, a good amount. So basically I'll do three sets of push-ups. Um, to make it all interesting, you can do things... Like, uh, this isn't really high enough, but you can put your feet up on something. A yoga ball is great for where you start. Um, imagine that, that my feet were up on something higher, but if you, you know, put your feet up on something, you're engaging different muscles. You can play with putting your hands really wide to engage different muscles, or putting your hands really narrow. It's much more your triceps. So you can play around with that. Um, Da, da, da. Um, the next thing. So then I will do uh, um, chin ups and inclined, inclined pull ups. Um, and in my travels, it's always a matter of looking around, figuring out where and how to do that. But for instance, here at the Balmikberg, I found that if I took one of these and threw it over those. I've got pull-up bar. Um, I just don't want to drop it on my head. But yeah, pretty simple. Again, you always want to kind of, you know, and get, you know, it's a, and pardon me for saying core so much. It's such a, um, a buzzword, but it's kind of true that you want to, it should always be a bit coming from the center. And I do as many as I can for three sets. Today's not workout day for me. For strength training, it's every other day, so your muscles have time to recover. So, and with these, it's less, I mean, for I can do like, it's been more, I can do 10, and then two sets of eight after that. Um, and now I'm up to like 13, and you know, I'm just, that was just uh, six weeks ago I started. So now I'm up to like 13, and two, you know, 13, 11, 11 kind of thing. Um, so I do pull-ups, and then I bought myself one of these, a TRX thingamajig, um, which is basically handles on adjustable webbing that you can attach to stuff. And uh, I'll use that to do inclined pull-ups. So I lean back and I do, with this it's more like, yeah, like 20 and then 15 and 15. Blah, 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 blah. Now, you always want to wait a couple minutes between sets, and there's different theories on this, how long you wait. Some people will say you wait one minute, other people say you want to wait five minutes. So, 
I'm when I'm doing this, I'm always mixing it up between I'll do a set and then I'll do my pirouettes and some dancey stuff, another set, more pirouettes and dancey stuff, another set, more. So I've got my music on, I'm playing with poi, did it do some of this, more poi, some of this, more poi, some of this. So three sets of push ups, three sets of chin ups, three sets of inclined pull ups. I've also been working on handstand um, push ups, but Let's get into that later when uh, I have some better resources. Because um, I had already had a handstand practice, so I could kind of jump into that. But there's probably for a lot of you lead ups to get there. And the same goes for, I don't know, for some of you, maybe you, you jump on this and you'll be like, Ugh! Ugh! you know, then again, you, you're going to need some steps. So maybe in the beginning, just do push ups and inclined pull-ups, because this is going to be easier, because it's not your entire body weight. So, and so for a month or two, you're just doing the push-ups and the inclined pull-ups, and then eventually you start adding the chin-ups, uh, etc. So, for the next six weeks or month, this is just so you can start joining in with me and uh, having some ideas to play with, and I'm inspiring you, I hope, um, and you're going to be inspiring me to us, for us all to say this together. Um, yeah, but I have limited resources here, and I want to, I do want to talk to some, you know, experienced people in the field of strength training to make us all better at this. But, um, yeah, I had a fun Facebook conversation with somebody, and that got me wanting to start looking for the people who are going to join me in this adventure. Because, uh, again, I'm hoping for once I start doing this and keep doing this, and you guys are going to Help me with that. Um, so this is Nick reporting from Bob McBerg about strength training and my enthusiasm for us to all do it together. Yay.